Now what's clear about all of these uh, defects that I'm going to talk about is that normal cells have very accurate mechanisms to repair DNA damage. And it is really in the absence of the repair of those damage that we see the kind of uh, karyotypes that I illustrated with this tumor suppressor gene. Um, so what, as a general rule, what I'm going to say is that cells that show this kind of uh, instability either have defects in the way they repair chromosomal breaks, or they have defects in what is known as the DNA damage checkpoint, about which I'm not going to spend much time uh, today. Um, the, the DNA damage checkpoint is a mechanism by which cells sense that they have broken chromosomes. They arrest their ability to progress through the cell cycle, blocking uh, progression prior to mitosis, effectively giving the cell much more time in order to be able to repair the DNA damage. And so either because these cells have a defect in, um, in the repair or in this checkpoint, they lead to this instability that we're interested in, in understanding more about. Okay, so an example of uh, uh, genes in humans that are involved, uh, which are defective uh, in their repair of double-strand breaks are two that I'll uh, mention a little bit more. One is called BRCA2. It's uh, one of the two uh, familially inherited breast cancer defects. Uh, and the other is BLM, which stands for the Bloom syndrome protein, about which I'll talk about. And in both of these cases, we know that people who have a a high predisposition for cancer are defective in one of these two uh, mutations, uh, which, which implicates that there are problems in DNA repair. There are also uh, uh, people who have defects in these checkpoint genes, two examples being uh, something called ataxia telangiotasia mutated, which is ATM, uh, and another protein, uh, probably the most prevalent mutation in all of human cancers, uh, P53. And these are defects in this DNA damage monitoring system. And again, the failure to arrest the cells properly during cell cycle progression um, turns out to be a major source of the instability that we examine. The other important uh, underlying concept of much of what we work on is the fact that the source of the double strand breaks, the broken chromosomes that we study, does not come from exogenous sources such as ionizing radiation or chemical exposures. It comes from the fragility of the DNA replication process itself. What's illustrated here is a vertebrate cell, a chicken DT40 cell, which has been uh, depleted for a protein called RAD51 that I'm going to talk about a lot. RAD51 is, is a DNA repair protein. And in the absence of this DNA repair protein, what you see are these uh, large number of chromosome interruptions, which are called chromatid breaks. One of the two sister chromatid strands is intact, and the other sister chromatid strand has a break. And it is the role of the RAD51 recombinase protein to use the information on the sister chromatid, which is intact, to patch up the break in the, uh, in the broken chromosome. And that, much of what I'm going to talk about is how that actually happens. So um, one of the things that we take away from this is the fact that the source of most of this damage is the process of DNA replication itself, and that the recombination machinery is, in fact, essential for life um, in, or in essentially any organism with a large genome because there are these kinds of breaks that occur um, all the time. The RAD51 protein in, in budding yeast that we study is, is not essential, but that's only because the Saccharomyces genome is about literally this big, and the human genome is uh, two meters long, and that the level of damage, therefore, per individual yeast cell is not large enough so that all the cells in the population at any one time are suffering these kinds of breaks. One of the other things that I want to emphasize is the fact that this problem of chromosome breakage, if anything, becomes more severe as cells progress toward becoming cancer. This idea was illustrated in an article by Halzanides, Gorgolis, and Bartek uh, in 2008 in Science. And the relevant part of the abstract that they published is, is, public, is presented here. And in particular, one uh, sentence which, which notes that activated oncogenes uh, which occur in precancerous cells and in cancers, actually induce the stalling and collapse of DNA replication forks and lead to the kind of breaks, the chromosome breaks that I've been talking about. So as cells uh, progress into cancer, this problem of, of uh, trying to repair accurately the chromosome damage becomes an increasing problem. 